Hello my little butterflies, welcome back and this video is going to be a poetry video called The Land of the Free. And I wrote this poem not too long after the election because I just, you know, like a lot of people, I was upset with the results of the election. I, I was more disappointed than upset in our nation. But um, now it's just to the point where I don't even, I don't, it's like I'm so disappointed and upset with it, I don't even really talk about it or you know bring it up i just i don't really care for politics at all anymore like i don't even waste my energy on it because apparently we see you know how our government is run they're going to put in office who they want to put in office and i'm going to leave it at that because the election is long past you know whatever happened has happened and that's pretty much why i'm not talking anymore because you know you know whoever won won is done is over with there's nothing we can do about it now so we have to live with it blah 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 and I just wrote this poem maybe like a week after the election just to get it off my chest and, and you know just get it out in the air and get it out of the way so here we go this is called the land of the free and the home of the brave but just how free is this land that bravery is shunned upon when it's still dangerous just to walk down the street because my blackness may offend someone why I'm forced to conform to the whiteness that this so-called land of the free was founded upon why I would never be free, or we never really truly were free to begin with. No matter who's the president, no matter how American I try to be, it is not safe. This land where being different is being an outcast, whether it's our skin tone, religion, sexual preference, or even something as simple as our choice of hairstyle, makes us into a heterogeneous mixture, which ultimately makes us unfree in the land of the free. This land where standing up for what one believes in, for what is religiously and socially right, it's still obviously punishable by the law. For being brave, we are talking to broken down. Even a second of mistaking that we are free, we are immediately reminded where we stand on the freedom pole. So just how free are we to be brave in this land? So yeah, like that point, like I said in the beginning, that poem was just a mixture of my feelings about the election and I called it the land of the free and talked about freedom, not just because of my race, but also because of my sex as a female and seen as the person that was elected to be the president and the leader of our country, how he always, you know, just, it's just so, like he downgrades women so much and like, it's like, it doesn't even matter to him. He can see that it's wrong how he talks about women, how he talks about different races and cultures. And also not too long after the election, something happened at work that just had me upset just because it seems like I don't see how someone else's culture can offend you and it's just it was just so much going on long story short the thing at work that happened that just drove me to the point where it's like yeah I need to I need to vent about this is just a customer really came up to me and was like telling me that because um other customers were speaking in their native language I don't know I think they were um, Arabic and they were speaking in their language it offended them that it, it irritates them and it bothers them and I was like how can them being themselves and being true to their culture offend you like how what does that have to do with that how how are they offending you that's where all my feelings and emotion came from this for this poem to even talk about it thank you guys for watching my poetry video it's been a while since I actually put a poetry video up and that's another one of my goals this year is to post more of my poems because I, I still write them it's just me making the video it's ridiculous it's me I just want to keep up with making my videos and you know kind of get on a schedule and right now it's going to be easy because I'm not working right now I'm still on my maternity leave so I'm at home I have like time to do all of this it's the real challenge is going to be when I actually go back to work and like finding time between work and being a mom and then I'm going to be going back to school next year like 2018 um, so just being being a mom and just being back at work and you know see, juggling that back in because I'm not used to being a mom and working at the same time yet so I don't know how that's gonna work out and how that's gonna go but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find a balance regardless I really don't have a choice I do I so thank you guys again so much for watching my poetry video and I'm gonna have more poems posted up for you guys later um this week I'll probably do another I'll probably do another poetry video this week because you know I really am like poetic and whatnot. So, you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.